All right, pleased to be joined on the six is Browns general manager, Sashi Brown. All right, Sashi, let's get right to it. Who y'all taking number one since y'all ain't trading it? Oh, I told Jamel. She didn't pass that on to you, Mike? No, no. <laughs> she said something about Miles Garrett. I, I didn't know what she was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Let, hey, listen, let me start. I got a question for you all. Scott Van Pelt or you all, what's the better session? Oh, Ooh. I mean, that's, that's, no, that's, no, that's no comparison. Look at who's who's cool. the pot. <laughs> who's cooler? Seriously. Who's cooler? Uh, I mean, there's two of you all. There's only one of him. It, well, it takes two of us to match SVP. Let's put it that way. Yeah. It and, takes two of us. And you're not going to turn this oh, around on us. So go ahead and answer the question. <laughs> Who are you taking number one? <laughs> Now nah, I'd have to I'd have to send my henchmen up there to get you all if if I told you that. But we uh, we're pleased and and well positioned in this draft to really add a lot of talent to our roster. We um, you know obviously Hughes done a great job last year. The results weren't where we want them to be, but our culture took a major step forward. That's going to help us, you know, this year and beyond. Uh, but sitting at one and 12, 33 and 52, we think we're going to add four great players there. That'll be Browns for a long time. Um, and uh, we're excited for it, you know, we, about a month out. Well, that said, a uh, pretty unusual type of trade for Brock Osweiler when it came to his contract and the picks yeah. that you guys got. What's been the reaction uh, at the Biltmore, at the owners' meetings? Uh, wh what have people around the league said to you about that unorthodox move? Probably unprecedented in, in NFL history when it comes to the particulars. Yeah, unorthodox. You know, some people had some laughs with me here and there, but it, you know how quickly our news cycles go. So that's that's almost old news now. Uh, but no doubt, I think there's a lot of different ways these deals take place. Sometimes there'll be a sign and trade where a player takes a reduction. In this case, we, we really, you know, try to level, level the compensation through the draft compensation that, that came back and forth between the two teams. And so, you know, Rick Smith and I had a lot of discussion about it. I know a lot's been written about it. Uh, but it's simply, you know, a trade that we felt like was fair and positioned us well, uh, being able to add another high draft pick next year. Could you see yourself going into next season with other positions addressed but not quarterback? Yeah, we could see that. That's a possibility. We are going to be aggressive and obviously prioritize the quarterback position. Uh, so there's a there's a good chance, Michael, that we go into the season next year with another quarterback on our roster. Uh, but that could come in a variety of different ways. Oh, so you're saying you would draft Mitchell Trubisky at number 12. <laughs> that, that basically, that's what I could take from that. <laughs> that's what I could take from that. Uh, you, you put that down in quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask you about a position other than uh, quarterback. Your owners have said uh, that they haven't closed the door on drafting Oklahoma running back Joe Mixon. How comfortable are you uh, with, say, drafting uh, somebody like Joe Mixon or drafting him in particular and drafting him high? I mean, is he high on your draft board at this point? Yeah, I wouldn't comment on where he sits on our draft board. We're familiar with Joe. We've done a lot of work with Joe. We've got scouts that are down on campus there at Oklahoma and in the region that do some background on him. Uh, but listen, the incident, there's no excuse for it. I think he's done a good job trying to be apologetic and, and explain it uh, and seems to have learned from it. Uh, but you know, that's, that's something that we take seriously. The character of men that we bring into our build matters a ton to us. Uh, we actually, you know, are honored to, to kind of be temporary stewards of this Browns brand in Cleveland. Uh, and so we want to make sure that the young men that we bring into our, our building are also going to be good, uh, you know, neighbors uh, within the Cleveland area. Man, well, we appreciate you taking the time to have a conversation with us. We just got one favor to ask before you go. When you make that Garoppolo trade, go <laughs> ahead and hit us up. Just give us a hit. Just up. break the news right here. Exactly. <laughs> just be like, yo, I got something for you. And, you okay. know, we'll, uh, we'll appreciate it. <laughs>